All right, 11, part C of 11.3 is graphing rational functions. So if we wanna graph the rational function, it's important that you know what the domain and range are. And then, not the domain, your asymptotes are located. And then we just choose points and plug them in. So um, asymptotes. So our vertical asymptote, where is it? X equals one. X equals one. Horizontal asymptote, where is it? Y equals one, because it's same degree, leading coefficients are one. So when we graph that, we're at X equals one, and we're at Y equals one. So that you can get a pretty good graph, you just wanna choose a point that is to the left and to the right, a couple points and plug them in and to get the values. So let's say I choose zero. So I'm gonna plug in zero. So if I plug zero into this, what do I get? That gives me zero plus two is two. Zero minus one is negative one. So that puts me at negative two. I can still divide. So at zero, negative two, I'm here and I'm just gonna trace it out. Now, if I wanna be a little more precise, could I do some more points? Yeah, but do we really want to right now? No, we get the juice. Okay, now I'm gonna choose something on the right-hand side. So choosing a value on the right-hand side, uh, let's just go ahead and do one, no, two. So if I substitute two in, two plus two is four, two minus one is one. So four divided by one is four. So I'm at two, four. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna kind of follow along the... I didn't do a very good job of that. I think my pen's out to get me today, guys. No, it's just not making it very easy to... So you actually have to change the tips on it. And I think I need to change my tip. All right, easy enough. So you can clearly state the domain. The domain here would be from negative infinity to one, union one to infinity. Let's try another one. So here we have three over X plus two. First, I'm gonna identify my uh, vertical asymptote and where is it at? X equals negative two. And then we're gonna identify our horizontal asymptote. We have a degree of one degree of zero, what does that mean? Y equals zero, right? When the numerator is less than the denominator, Y is equal to zero. So we have our horizontal here and we have our vertical at X equals negative two. We're gonna choose, you can choose as many points as you want to the left and right, I gave you three boxes. Um, I'm going to just choose one to the left. So let's go with negative three. If I take negative three and I plug it in. That gives me three over negative three plus two is negative one. And that gives me negative three. So at negative three, three, one, one, two, three. I'm going to follow my asymptote. Okay, I'm gonna choose something to the right. So values to the right. Uh, let's plug in one, one is good. Negative one. So if I plug in negative one, I get three over negative one plus two. One, give me three. So I'm at negative one, three. One, two, three. Follow my asymptotes. And again, by all means, please feel free to choose more points to be more accurate. That's why you have additional boxes to plot as many as you like. All right. And then our last one. Da -da -da. So we have x squared over x minus one. So here, if we were to graph this, um, our domain, I mean, our um, 
vertical asymptote? Is that x equals one? And is there a horizontal asymptote? No. No, there isn't an a HA. And that's because numerator is greater than the denominator, okay? Um, and so in this case, what ends up happening is that we end up with a slant or an oblique asymptote. And so we we'll have time. I wanted to do this graphically so you can see it on the calculator. I don't think I have time for the calculator. Um, well, I'm gonna challenge you, graph this on a calculator and see what it looks like. Nice. You'll be able to choose from a graph, but I, I need you to see because we don't, we won't graph this as we won't graph this this year. You'll graph it next year. <laughs> 